Today we're getting a little tropical with a few refreshing candles from the new seasonal beach club collection from Otherland and they are quite the performers but did they change my mind on gourmand candles though? Hey what's up? I'm Rakima. Welcome to Detail Dream where the primary focus is to expose you to the expansive world of luxury goods for yourself and your home. So before I forget, I noticed a certain channel is quickly approaching 10,000 subscribers. I cannot believe what's happening with the Detail Dream channel and it's all because of you. And you better believe there will be something quite special when the channel hits 10,000 subscribers. I have a few ideas stirring so subscribe to stay up to date on everything. Okay first things first, this phenomenal presentation of Otherland's packaging for their different collections is something I look forward to every time I go to grab a candle. It's definitely a wow factor when flipping back the lid to reveal the beautiful artistic designed cover that's covering those delectable candles. Otherland just gets it right every time without fail. Those curated colors and designs of the packaging to the vessel colors portrays the most accurate mood for each collection. I personally feel with each collection there's a story that takes you on a journey through each scent and the packaging really helps tie everything together. Take this Beach Club collection for example, starting with the name, what do you picture when you think of beach club. You may be thinking of vacationing on the beach, or you may be thinking of a hot summer's day, or you could be thinking of lounging in a luxurious private villa. That was my first thought. A vacation sounds nice right now. So when you picture these thoughts, what colors do you see and most importantly, what do you smell? It could be the tropical fruit that you're eating or it could be the smell of the ocean with a bit of salt in the air. Take all of that and mold it into an amazing smelling candle. If you know anything about Otherland, then you know just how good their scents are with taking you to another place while burning their candles. I have to mention they also just opened their store in Soho and it looks incredible. I can't wait to visit when I travel back. If you're in New York, let me know if you've been yet and how do you like it. It's a great opportunity to smell before you buy. Okay, unpacking the three scents I received, I was immediately met with the mixed aroma that took me to a tropical beachfront property surrounded by freshly cut fruit. Now, I'm not particularly fond of fruity gourmand scents, well gourmand in general, as you may know. But man, these are some of the freshest performing candles I have. If you're someone who adores the smell of a strong, fruity gourmand candle, this collection is definitely for you without a question. It's highly recommended, especially coming from a more sustainable point with a coconut and soy wax blend. Just another reason why I love Otherland candles. We love good sustainable candles over here. The cleaner the burn, the better. And the strength of these candles. Where do I even begin? They are among the strongest from Otherland. I don't know what I was expecting, but both the coat and hot throw are very impressive. No joking, within 15 minutes of burning, these scents has no problem inviting themselves to every corner of a large room. They know how to work a room well, let's just say. With gourmand scents in general, I found that they tend to have amazing performance. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but majority of them seem to have a powerful throw. If you know why gourmand scents tend to be strong performers, let me know in the comments. I'm very curious about it. For this new Beach Club collection, there is a total of six different scents. And I have three of them here called Melon Spell, Nectar Pop, and Cocoa Blossom. Great names to describe what you're in for. Melon Spell is a delicious scent of watermelon, cucumber, and palo santo. You may be thinking, this is a straight watermelon scent. You are correct, to a certain extent. You're met with bright watermelon, but when that mix of Palo Santo start to kick in, it turns into a watermelon scent with more character, more volume in terms of depth to the scent. I was not expecting Palo Santo to pair so well with a fruity scent. It was quite a surprise, honestly. And there is just enough cucumber in this to enhance the scent in a more unique way. Don't get me wrong, the watermelon is the main note. It just has more body to it thanks to the Palo Santo and cucumber. I didn't think I would like this scent as much as I do since I don't enjoy actual watermelon. It's the aftertaste I can't get with. But I have to say, smelling this during this warmer weather has me wanting to try it again. Now, the performance from a candle of this size is unbelievable. The cold throw is like a subtle candle burning, and when it's actually burning, it has no issues whatsoever filling a large room or open concept. Like I said, it will find its way to every corner and crevice. Give it 15 minutes at most and it'll come to life. In typical Otherland fashion, it burns very clean and even every time. 
two to three hours at most is all you'll need for a full surface melt. And after it's blown out, you'll continue to smell the scent in the entire room for another couple of hours. It's unreal how this performs. Again, gourmand scents tend to perform very strong, at least for me. Now, don't mistake strong for overbearing or overpowering. This isn't strong to the point it makes your eyes water or messes with your sinuses. It's strong in the sense that it evenly disperses the scent throughout a large room without issue with the beautiful, delicious smell of refreshing watermelon. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, it could be the Palo Santo helping with the performance. I found when Palo Santo is in the scent, it tends to perform a little stronger. It could be just my mind playing tricks on me. For me personally, I wouldn't burn any gourmand candles during the morning hours. It's just something I wouldn't look forward to. I would save a fruity scent like this for a very warm summer afternoon for its refreshing qualities. Another great afternoon scent would be the Nectar Pop Candle. And as the name implies, this scent is a bright pop of golden mango complemented with a hint of coconut cream and chili salt. I'm going to be honest, I get a little parched when I smell this scent. A little thirsty, it's that refreshing mango. This smells as if there's fresh cut mangoes sitting on a serving tray with a little sprinkle of that chili salt. I may not eat watermelon, but I enjoy a good mango. There's also that hint of coconut cream that adds to an already refreshing aroma this candle will have in your space. The mango is the star in the scent. It's strong, but it won't overpower the senses exactly like the melon spell candle. Otherland has done a great job where it's just enough without going overboard with the fruity nuances where even someone like me who lives on the complete opposite side of scent preference can enjoy it. The cold throw of the scent is on the same level as Melon Spell. Just having it out without the lid, you will get the subtle light whiffs of fresh mango. I also love that other land candles come with lids. Gotta love a candle with the lid, right? There is a warning under these lids that state do not put on top of a lid candle. I guess it's because it's not made of a metal material. I'm not too sure what it's made of. Maybe hard paper material. So please do not put your candles out using these lids. They're just there to help preserve the scent. Back to the performance. The hot throw is perfect for a large room to an open concept. Just like the watermelon with melon spell, Nectar Pop is vibrant with the scent of mango. If mango is something you enjoy, you will get very good use from this scent. This is a full bodied mango. You do get occasional whiffs of that coconut, but for the most part, I'm mostly picking up the mango scent. A delicious scent for a warm summer day. I can definitely see this burning, maybe during a small get together in the afternoon, or when you just want to relax during the day with a nice cold drink of something good. Nectar Pop is as fresh and vibrant as mangoes that were just picked from a tree. With Cocoa Blossom, it offers something a little different than the other two scents I have. Although it contains coconut, which is technically classified as gourmand, this scent leans more oriental in my opinion, with the intense note of gardenia and warm amber. I feel gardenia is a very prominent note that loves the spotlight as with any white flower. You do pick up the smell of coconut fairly easily but immediately the smell of gardenia is right there ready to take over. These are two notes that pair very well together. One moment I'm picking up coconut and as soon as I turn my head I'm picking up gardenia. It's almost like these notes are fighting for my attention and I'm loving every moment of it. Oh and that warm resinous amber definitely makes this a more oriental scent for me. When this candle is burning you pick up that amber in the background, just enough to make sure the coconut and gardenia doesn't get out of hand. This is a very unique scent that takes me to a place overlooking a white sand beach from a terrace, drinking fresh coconut with the smell of gardenia sitting in a vase close by. Gardenia on its own is a fantastic performer, so combining that with coconut and amber means this scent will stand out in any space. I am a little biased towards the dynamic white flowers such as tuberose, orange blossom, gardenia, and jasmine, which is my favorite white flower. At this point, I think they're my favorite floral notes. I'm diving headfirst into learning everything I can about them because they really make such beautiful scents when mixed correctly. Cocoa Blossom has just the right amount of coconut and gardenia to make this scent really work. The performance is exactly the same as the other two candles. Performs great in a large room to an open concept. Within 15 minutes, you'll begin to smell what I'm talking about with the coconut and gardenia. Even though gardenia can sometimes come off being a little too intense, that's not the case with this. All this scent wants to do is fill the space with an alluring aroma of coconut and dynamic floral. Slowly, but surely, I'm coming around to more gourmand candles. These candles from Otherland is really helping with that. I'm still not sure about those overly sweet gourmands out there like the salted caramel and cotton candy. I don't think I'm ready for that just yet baby steps. Let me know if you tried any candles from Otherland's new Beach Club collection and which is your favorite. I'm really curious to know about that match point scent that's supposed to smell like tennis balls. Let me know if you tried it. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. As always, thank you so much for watching. I cannot begin to thank my supporters enough. You all have been amazing on this journey so far with me. I'll catch you in the next one.